I was came to the Dalia for the Legend series. In the previous video, I was created the registered dot razor to register the store, uh, user and identity user and also implementation for the author repository. So I'll add a modifier the base URL. So add base URL of the API controller, API project to post a request to the server. So in this video, I am going to create the new Razor page, which is the login Razor page. So I have just add right click on the account and select the Razor and uh, give it the name the login. So the login result page is uh, error request. You know, I just go to the user result and uh, copy all the code and paste it here and uh, change the uh, your URL will be uh, registered to login. So I just move to the API uh, project and uh, just copy this login video which requires email and password just copy this and paste in the blazer server so just create it here paste it here and now i have to add change the name space here so here is the login video and just go to the login database and change it to here so i don't need to the first name last name and and the registration so i need the so no i go to the i have to go to the author register author repository and now i have to add the login method so change here login detail and now just go to the implementation of that you can have interface now you can see that the login interface is implemented <laughs> no I have just copied this code and paste it here and now move to the uh, base uh, static endpoint and now I have to add the another endpoint which we name in the login and just go to the account control in the API method API project and paste uh, the change the URL from user, user register to user login so this URL will be used to register any user to the system so just move to the other repository and paste it here so add it here is save now in this case in this case I have to do some changes I have to add if dot this post dot is succeeded code then it will return the false return false so and now i have to uh, as you can see that uh, if i go to the login so it is returning response detail so response detail contain the email user id and 
token string so i just need to copy go to the dto of the api and copy this and uh, now paste it in the uh, browser server project so and uh, now i have to change this yeah because here the api will return the response detail so i need to deserialize the api response and convert it into to get the token and the user email and uh, user id so let's do let's get the variable one content one content and I just add a ref response so this will uh, uh, read the content and so I just create the response response is equal to json dot convert json uh, sorry json json convert dot deserialize object which will take the if you can have a response and it will uh, deserialize the response uh, content and uh, it will be saving the response video uh, I think how we are using this, this because this uh, I just named it the API response so now uh, I have got the API response so in the now I have to implement the save this uh, token into the local storage and for further use because uh, you can see that if I if I go to the product and word and uh, I have added authorized uh, attribute for the uh, read update and the post method of the product API. So for this I need the token to validate the user is uh, user has the uh, access to uh, uh, to do these activities in the system so so uh, i need to store this token in the any uh, in the local storage so for this uh, i need i need to do some configuration so I just return here the box. So just move to the login user for user and just know this login. I have to add a data here. that is equal to it will be the if a user has the uh, account so i need to move it to the register dot razor so razor just put link here and down Account. So if a user don't have account, so it will be moved to the where it will click on the uh, don't have account, so it will direct to the user to the uh, register user. So user will create the create uh, account, and after that he can uh, user can log into the system. So just move to the uh, register API and I need to change uh, the URL so if user has created their account the user has a re register and uh, account created successfully then it will move to user to the login screen to, uh, to log into the system so 
thanks for watching the video and uh, if you have uh, any question you can put your question in the comment box in the next video we will do uh, some more implementation of for the uh, login user uh, login user so uh, we will create a, a authentication provider so we will through this we will validate the user token validations and uh, user has the right or not so